I used a speaker and a scope to balance this blower. Now I want to see if I can use that same method to balance my jointer. This plywood will protect me from the cutter head while I'm probing for vibrations. So the weird thing I'm seeing is more vibration on the ends of the bearing blocks than on the sides of them, which suggests the problem is something other than imbalance of the head. So somehow this seems to be rocking back and forth this way, not moving this way. Whoa, this block is wiggling back and forth by almost 0.1 millimeters, by about 3 thou. Let's just try turning it down here, yeah. So something is causing this bearing block to rock back and forth, and the most likely thing I imagine is if the bearing is on there crooked, then as the head spins, this bearing would kind of go like this. So, time to take this jointer apart again. So if I just spin it like that, I can't visually see the blocks wiggle, but they both have a little bit of slack to them. And that's the slack in the bearing, not so much the uh, blocks. So now if I just put a little bit of tension on this thing with a rubber band, and now we can see these wiggle by quite a lot. So this looks quite bad, but it's actually the seal here that's popped out partially. Let's pop that back in. It doesn't look too bad like this, but it's on there crooked, so I'd really have to spin the head to see that. And it does have a bit of play. And now with just the bearings, I can't particularly see them wiggle. Oh no, I can see this one wiggle a bit. I can certainly feel it wiggle. It's a bearing from Turkey. I suspect these might not be quite as good as the German or the Swedish bearings. But checking the bearing itself, I can't tell that it has any misalignment. Just a little bit of slack. So a problem is I don't have a press for putting this back on. So I'll have to improvise a bit. What could possibly go wrong with it? So holding this bearing under tension with this rubber band here. I can see it wobble, but just barely so. I think that bearing was seated on there a bit crooked before. Well, the uh, bearing on this side is quite noticeably worse. Well, that might have made a minor difference. I think I'll try pulling that one off too. I've got an M8 thread in the end of this thing that used to attach a little gear. I'll try to use that to uh, squeeze that bearing back on. So with tension on it, I can't say that this wobble is any less than it was before, but if I take the tension off, it doesn't move at all because the amount of slop in the bearing is more than the amount of wiggle, so as long as that bearing is where it likes to be, the, uh, the wobble is within the slop, so I'll be okay. So I think as long as my bearing blocks are aligned, I'll be okay, and these are good flat on the table. But looking on here, the bearing surfaces are not properly aligned. I didn't want to lower this one too much, so I made a shim and sanded that one to match the taper. I'm just going to glue that on a little bit so it stays in place.
Still seeing wiggle, but about 10 times less than before. Still a tiny bit of misalignment. I think I'll call that good enough. Still getting some bearing noise. Still kind of loud, but not as bad as it was before. I can definitely hear the bearing. And this feels like there's some home here and here. I'm still picking up some hum, which is probably some imbalance, but uh, most of the noise is much higher pitched, and I think that's from a bad bearing. Got it mostly back together now. And the loudest sound now isn't from the head being out of balance. It's just high pitched bearing noises, especially the one on the back, I think. This one is the loudest. But this belt vibration is bugging me, and I'm starting to think it's because of this pulley. This pulley is actually a crown pulley, so that uh, this belt rides in the middle like a flat belt. The problem is I don't have enough uh, slack side to side, so the belt often rubs against the flanges here, which are there to keep the belt from falling off if things are badly misaligned. But that rubbing on the side kind of plucks the belt a little bit, so I need more space in the middle. Now I just gotta trim the shape of that crown a little bit so it's in the middle again. A lot less belt vibration now. Never hit that bearing. I tried taping this brass nut at different positions inside the drive pulley but uh, it never made any noticeable difference in terms of measuring vibrations with this thing. So I don't think the balance is much of an issue. But I also noticed the vibration level seems to go up and down with time. And I can see a sort of strobe effect between the 120 hertz flicker of the lights and the cutter head. So this rotation is very close to 120 turns per second and something else is vibrating at 120 hertz. Now the motor itself is actually very steady, but it seems to have a rotational vibration of about 120 hertz. And I realized with uh, 60 hertz power coming in, the power peaks 120 times per second and is also completely gone 120 times per second. And with the motor turning the power into torque, that means the torque is essentially modulated with 120 hertz. So that's a source of 120 hertz vibrations. And there's harmonics of that vibration every 120 hertz as well. And then also the belt has a resonant frequency of about uh, 65 to 68 hertz, which of course will change as there's a torque on it, so that may also have its own set of vibrations. But if it was just the 120 hertz and its harmonics, I don't think I'd mind the sound so much. It's the bearing noise that's really annoying. So I ordered some uh, Swedish SKF brand ball bearings to put in there, but uh, I'll deal with that later. As for a lot of these noises I'm now chasing, I probably just never noticed those before because the head was that much louder. And the noise is actually planing still drowns out all the other noises. 